Hi, Mark here. Trust you well. In today's Lightroom Classic Quick Tip, we're going to be looking at one particular way that you can remove images from a smart collection. Now, what is a smart collection, you ask? Well, it's a mixture of images that meet certain criteria. That could be date, keyword, flagged, starred, color rated, or any mixture of attributes or metadata. Now, before we jump across the Lightroom Classic, I'd like to take the opportunity to tell you about our live Lightroom support group. Most Monday evenings, I host on Zoom a live support group for Lightroom and Lightroom Classic, where we look at a theme, a task, and answer as a community your Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and Photoshop queries. Now, if that interests you, please just jump across to learnlightroom.co.uk and there'll be more information about our support group there. So let's jump across to Lightroom Classic. I'm running Lightroom Classic 12.4 on a Mac and this is my training catalogue that has around about 500 images in there. There are a mixture of my legacy RAW files and some stock JPEG images that I have a license to use. Now the images in front of us is in a smart collection and we can tell it's a smart collection because it has a little cog by the collection icon and if I double click on it it shows me the criteria the rules of the smart collection and in this case show me all my images that have a keyword with Bristol and this is across the whole of my catalogue the images that I have with a single word of Bristol. Now I want to remove some of these images from this smart collection and actually I want to cull these images and now there's several ways that we can do this one is just remove the keyword from those images but you've still got the images within classic and I actually want to get rid of those images now how I do that is I pick and reject so P for pick white flag X for reject reject the images the black flags so for demonstration purposes I'm just going to highlight these images here I'm going to use the paint can in this case so I'm going to come down to the toolbar click on the paint can make sure that I'm on flagged it's rejected and I'm just going to spray on the images put the paint can back and then if I turn my attributes on and then turn on black flag you can see those images are black flagged so let's turn those off and let's hide the library filter so how can I delete these because I no longer want these images in my catalog that's simple because if I go to delete now it's only going to try to delete them from the smart collection but you can't do that but I want to remove these so we go to our folder structure I click on my top level folder I turn on my metadata and my attributes for my library filters and I select in the first column I select keywords I select the keyword which is going to be Bristol there we go and now these are all my keywords with Bristol but I hit the reject there's my rejected five images okay so I filtered in the folder structure because I'm going to delete these images and in my philosophy and workflow there's only four things that we should do in our folder structure import move rename and delete and that's delete images not remove from a collection so we're going to delete these images so I'll select them select all command a or control a press delete and I'm just going to remove them in this case and they disappear from my catalog let's turn my filters off and if I go back now to my smart collection they're no longer there because they've been removed from my catalog I culled them I rejected them I wanted them away and I've taken them out of that smart collection in fact I've taken them out of the whole of Lightroom Classic and as I say that's just one way there are several ways that we can remove images from a smart collection. 
Now if that's of interest, why not come and join us live on a Monday evening, learnlyron.co.uk. And we looked at lots of different scenarios, tasks, and different ways in different workflows, how we can work smarter, not harder, returning to the field of photography sooner rather than sitting in front of our tablets, laptops, or desktop computers. If today's been of help to you, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Got a question? Leave an answer, or leave a question in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But please remember, there's more than one way of doing something. Take care. Stay safe. Bye for now.